Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Rogue Tech where today all of my mechs are actually looking pretty in good shape after the last battle. They all took one day of damage and that's it. So I don't think we've got any mechs to build. I think we're just waiting for the Griffin to be built. And as such... I think we're basically ready to go into the next fight. And checking the store. That's right. The one thing that has changed is when I looked at the store following the financial report, there was another Slazer. I didn't buy it. It's now gone. I think that's because it was on day 30. And day 30, it must have kept the last financial report stuff. And then on the next day, it refreshed and it, we got different stuff, of which there's not really anything here of note. Apart from a 60-ton SRM carrier, which carries 10 SRM-6s, it only moves 3 or 5 hexes, so it's never going to be in great range. But hey, right, other than that, uh, it is just a case of skipping forward the few days to get everything ready. But more importantly, to get everyone out of fatigue. And just a quick check of the barracks. I don't think we're going right to... Ooh, we are going to get something. You're on the urban mech. I th no, you've been on both, haven't you? So you kind of just not got a mech at the moment. So we'll just give you some gunnery for mech now. Warrior training complete. Uh, Dragon, you haven't got anything. Uh, Commander? You haven't got anything. Waiting for order. No. Aye, aye. You haven't got anything useful. Standing by. Standing by. Scepter. Standing by. Wildfire does. And I'm thinking some melee. No, we're going to push for sense lock because that's going to really help us in the grand scheme of things. Come in. So, next mission, I think. There was one that I wanted to do, and it's this one. An urgent matter, because it offers a lot of money for a battle that's... Well, for missions in this thing. It's basically offering more money than most missions in this sort of price range. Mm, maybe not, actually. 1.7, 1.7, 1.2 1 on that one. Maybe it's just a good payout. Possibly. Maybe the pirates just like us. They kind of do. But yeah, I mean, we get half a million sea bills from it and four choice salvage. So we're going to be doing pretty good afterwards. And we're well under the tonnage limitation for the mission. So all is good. And why can't we deploy... Oh, I can only deploy six units. So, is the scimitar coming out? No, I think... Cloudbuster will. Simply because... Your rockets are actually pretty good. And... And... Well... The pilots are very, very, very similar. you got plus one tactics and that's it. Anyway, that's going to deploy, that's going to be it, and let's get into this. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope that this mission does give us bigger targets, because the, there's a big paycheck there. So the other missions around the what is on the mission table is around a million, so this is 700,000 more. So I'm kind of hoping that either there's some really good mechs and therefore some really good equipment, or it's just a good, easy mission where it's not that great, but we do get a lot of money out of it. So either way, I'll be happy because quarter of a, well, half a million near enough is very good. And I'm thinking after this, I can probably look at doing another upgrade for the Argo. Because I haven't done one of those for a couple of days. 
and therefore then I probably need one because I need more tech points and therefore I can get the bigger mechs that we get in better condition. Uh, but this, the, the mechs that we're facing are the remains of a decimated pirate company. So there's probably going to be more than one lance on the battlefield. Which might also be why it's such a large payout. Because there's lots of mechs, rather than dangerous mechs. Reactor online. We Reactor shall see. Online. We're about to see, online. because we're getting in there right now. And it's in the desert. I don't like the deserts because of heat, but so be it. Uh, so they're there, and well, we could take the high ground, but I, this is a short map. No, I'm thinking. Right, so they're there. Ooh, can I? You know what? Yeah. Let's go in the mineral field or around the mineral field. That'll work. That will work. And we have some sensors already. We have a Bulldog AC and a Hedza Thumper and a Wield APC LRM. So tanks, basically. Yes, Commander. We have tanks on the battlefields. Hi. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Whoa. Looks like enemy noises. Uh, reinforcements are... Okay, we have a Clint's. We have a Turbo Hunchback with an AC-20. I don't like the sound of that. A Matador. Seven-ton mech lance and some pirate weapons. And some uh, battle armors. I don't like any of that. That is not good. They do have spawn protection. That Matador with a... Mech Lance looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, they're, they're all scary in their own way. And there is also a Chasseur with an AC-10 down here. So these are all quite dangerous. I mean, the Thumper Artillery, if I can get the head side out of this, that would be amazing. It's only an five, so nothing too scary there. We're going to brace you, and I'm going to carry on for now. Uh, the... Ravager moves? Okay. Commander. That's not a bad thing, actually, because... I don't really want to split my force up Here too much. But let's go there with you. I might... Oh, that's bad. That was 60 solid damage to the center torso, of course. <laughs> That's Commander. a bad start already. Oh, I, I hate this already. Not good. Not good at all. Let's no see what hit chance we get. I don't want to fire because I don't want to tag. Oh, sorry, I don't want to hit my mech in the back. Because I'm going to have to use my back armor a lot now because the front armor is not really there. No, this is bad. Please don't hit. We, he hits. Oh. Left arm, left torso. Was that the entire left... Not quite the entire left side, but that is... Um, yeah, we're, Chompy's gone. Chompy is gone. Because we're not going to be able to recover from that, really. Roger. I probably shouldn't have gone so close, because the rug weapon is terrible. Yeah, we're not going to be able to, because he's on the ground, his initiative is going to be lower, all these guys are going to target him, and he's going to be dead. And Ready for that's order. bad for us. I think these are the bigger targets, so we're going to have to go up. This way. We're just going to go that way. Aye, aye. There for now. Alright, this is going to be dangerous. Clint. He's not going for the downs mech, Reporting but so be it. Heavy damage. 
And who's next? Yeah, pretty sure this fire starter can actually handle everything over here almost by itself. We also have the thumper still to go, I've just realised, and that's going to be an interesting thing. Because we're all clustered together. At least the matador is nice and easy to hit because he's got no evasion. On it. He's holding together quite nicely. Does it actually say a tonnage of him? 35 tons and he did so much to us. That's a miss. And that's not it. I think there's one more to go. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the... Well, the AC Bulldog. AC2. Probably an Ultra. Hmm. Your initiative is 25, actually. You go now. Awaiting orders. Okay. So both our proto double heat sinks right. are gone. Back in the fight. Uh, we're not bleeding. No, we're not bleeding. We are not bleeding. And we can't uh, melee on the turn we stand up, sadly. Which is rather annoying, but so be it. And we are crippled, really. I think I'm going to pull out for now. Actually, I can pull there. Move order confirmed. That works somewhat. Did some damage. So all in all, not a wasted turn. Waiting for uh, Urban board. Knights can get the killing blow here. Now go there. And we'll go physical weapon, we'll turn the rockets on, and have some Moving fun. Targeting for physical attack. Engine crits. Targets taking a critical hit. Engine destroyed. You must have been running an XL engine. Enemy down. There could be an XL and there won't be an XL engine on the battlefields on the loot table because we blew him up. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Yes, he's also got an AC-20. He's firing into melee. Light damage. Holding fire. No, he doesn't. Good. Waiting for orders. Okay, go, we go. there. Sixteen percent chance. Eighteen percent chance. Well, let's see if we can get can chat anywhere hard. close. We do. There's a bit of friendly fire on the hunchback, and we're going to fall in a second. Standing by. But... Good news is... Heading out. We can go there. And... Five shots is what we should be firing. Okay. Nothing spectacular, but so be it. Uh, okay, I'll spread out a little bit, way. simply because artillery on is on is on the battlefields. On it. And I kind of wouldn't mind getting a turbo hunchback, seeing what he has inside him, basically. I think the we're going to get knocked, it, with the urban knight's going to get knocked, simply because he will get hit with artillery. So... That will be fun to look forward to. And you've obviously got Ace Pilots. Receiving you. And drag on. Is it worth going for you? Or are we going? With a kick. 
Now we've got the claws, so let's go with a punch. It's fine. Roger. No, will miss, sadly. Failed set. But the rest does enough damage. AC-20 ammo explosion, so there's only one part of him left, sadly. But might still take it because it might still be useful to put together a hunchback later on. Anyway, it doesn't look like there's too much more to take home, really. That'll be a knockdown. This is a real... This is the first challenge I've had in a while, and... Well... <laughs> it's starting to add up. Got some wounded, got some broken mechs. Got structure exposed on you, on the side torso, of course. Good job there's no engine in there. Just a rocket pack with 40 rockets still to explode, obviously. Uh, you're going to take that. You're hopefully going to take down all three of those tanks by yourself. We shall see. Yes, Commander. Uh, right, Urban Knight, stand up. We're gonna go after these guys. I'd All say. Right. Regain stance, Commander. Let's see. I'll put the pedal down. What hit chance we get? Terrible hit chance, basically. I'll make they do go next, pretty much. So that might be a bad thing because they can actually climb on top of me. I like it, they missed mostly. This is not good. Oh crap. He missed. That was a charge, I believe, so no follow up. No follow up. Good. Commander? Alright, see, that's how close we get there. We can get a little bit closer. We will try to chaff them once again. Aye. And add a little bit of damage from the machine guns. Nothing spectacular, but so be it. Orders. So think Moving to position. This guy, this guy's the easier target. We might as well go for him. His AC 10's jammed by the looks of things. Confirmed. What a shame. There goes his arm. Inflicted some heavy damage. Right, who's next? Could be any one of the tanks. That tank with five missiles. Going for the crippled knights. And then he's got base pilot. See, he ain't gonna move out of there, so he ain't gonna get much evasion. He isn't even moving full stop. That's good for us next turn. Standing by. Yeah, we're gonna go there. We are building up a little bit of heat. Oh dear. Well, that's going to be so close on you. Sod it. Oh, that was good shooting. Reporting. No friendly fire. And is he pilot incapacitated? So he's gone. Yes, Commander. And, well, I think... You can rejoin the fight. It's just. Is that the safest place to do it? Possibly. I don't know if I can get. I, I don't think I can get down there, but it's the best place to get a good hit chance this turn. Just don't shoot me back, please, and I'll be happy. Ready for orders. Go there. Got it. Reasonable hit chance. Just because they're battle armors, basically. I am. Did I hit my own tank? I think I did. Took a hard hit there. I did. Oh my god. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> That's crazy how much we just took. Damage is minor, Commander. Yeah, artillery starting to I'm hit us. Internal damage. And who's this? This is you. Don't shoot anyone that's damaged, please. Don't shoot at all if if you like. It's not quite what I meant, but I'll take it. You're gonna go for the Oh, structural explosion on you. There's so much that shot got past my armor. So much damage. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh right, go there. Alright, let's move. And I'm thinking the artillery has to go down first. Or well, does it go down? It's not going to go down just yet. But they're all chaffed and blinded. I'm under heavy fire. And I also um, blinded myself, but that's not the point. All right, you are exposed on. That Roger there. way. There we go. Shoot to kill. No. No killing. Who's he going to go for? Propulsion destroyed. Oh, I don't think you can move. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a bad one. Is it worth charging? I don't think it is. Go there. Moving to position. We just don't have a very good hit chance because they're so small. But if we keep hitting them, they'll keep taking damage, and therefore eventually they'll die. Uh, this is you. Your AC tent is crit, which is good. But half my force is crit, so it's not going to take much to actually take... Oh, it's even me. Ready for orders. Oopsie. Completely missing there. And actually, I'm going to go around the back. I'm going to go... Oh, I can't get my physical weapon on target. So be it. It's fine. Kicking is not so bad. 50% hit chance. And then the rockets. Do some damage. Take one of them out. A critical hit. Aye, aye. And yeah, I figured it might be a bad spot, but so be it. On my way. Double time. Right, we do only have one more to go, and who is that? Ah, that's my disco back. No, my rock back. One of my hunchbacks. Yeah, it is my disco back. Or punch back. Oh, this is scary how long they're taking. Uh, <laughs> we are unsteady as well, so they could hit us dead on. And this is with chaff and sensors affected and all that, and they're still hitting us. Which possibly means they have some good equipment. And you're running away. What a surprise. And again, we can only kick them. I should be able to take a shot or two in the back. Let's go around the back, get a better accuracy with our weapons, following the kick. So we should take them out. Oh no! Take that! No, they are unsettled, and that's it. Okay, now the bad things start firing. Or not. This is the one that's going to hurt, though. This is the fun part. Oh, he missed. Hanging on by a thread, I think, is the title of this video. Simple. Because it's all... <laughs> It's all gone wrong. <laughs> Kill. Yeah. Just fired some missiles. Commander. 
Alright, Urban Knights. It's gonna hopefully. Take these guys out. Please. Engage. We connected. They're in, they're only down to structure now. And they're gone. They are a challenge to deal with, but they're just more annoying because you can't hit them very well. And let's zoom in on this. Yeah, we want the back. We want the kick. We want that. And please take him out. Sadly, I wasn't fast enough to get across the battlefield in quickly enough to get all these guys. But we got one of them down at least. Target down. Ready for orders. And well. The rest of them have fairly low initiative, so. If I go there, that's a terrible hit chance. I'm not going to risk you, if I'm honest. Let's just pull you over this way. Protect you. I think it's down to my two hunchbacks. Ready for orders. Because it's going to be a decent hit chance there, and it's in the rear armor. I don't think this guy has... Oh, he has 60 rear armor, which is good enough, I suppose. Confirmed. Normally, but not when you're taking on a disco back. Removed. Receiving you. Ah, oh, now Rock 5's jammed. That sucks. That's bad timing. Got it. But we can tag this guy. Engaging with target. And we do. Commander. And yeah. You haven't done much this whole mission, but that's because it's half of you left, basically. And at least you're not bleeding out. So there's two enemies left, and they're not a big threat. This guy kind of is with the AC2s, but it's machine guns and SRM, but it does 187 melee damage, which is nothing to be scared about, because he's a Ooh, it's a bulldog. We don't we have two parts of a bulldog tank. I might be able to put together a 60 ton tank after this. Possibly. We shall see. It depends how many parts are on the battle on the loot table, but now is you going. This is gonna be the scary one. Of oh, that's left. You're not firing the AC2s. There's obviously no hit chance on the AC2s. Waiting for orders. And go for the kick. It's more accurate. So I'd rather go for the more accurate thing because it just means that we take him out quicker. And I mean that's not bad. Enemy eliminated. So, one left. I don't know how many people can actually shoot at it this Stand turn, by. though. This is a problem. Roger that. So, we'll just use this turn to move in close. And... Order. Get ready to gang up on it next turn. Okay. Full speed it is. No, 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 no. Miss. I'm interested to see how much this guy's melee damage is. Uh, it's un unidentified. Ready for orders. So it might be not very much. That's a pretty good hit chance. This will probably be the end of him. And goodbye. Very much goodbye. Tango is trash. And be done. Successful. 
Overall, a challenging mission because we took some damage. So I can say that that was not pleasant because I didn't didn't know whether I was going to lose mechs or pilots, and that's where it becomes scary. That's why it's a gamble going into a mission. We end up with 385,000 sea bills because of drop costs, basically. We're going to lose a fair... Actually, it's very even on the kill board. So two apiece. And you got nothing because you got injured very quickly. And you did get critical damage towards the end, so you weren't able to get into the fight properly. But the mechs all got the MVP for holding out and not dying. There is a full Hetzer Thumper. Two, three, four, five. I could take it. There is one part of a Hunchback. And where is... Ah, oh, the, the Bulldog isn't there. That sucks. Mechlan's seven tons. Uh, plus one accuracy with this weapon. It weighs seven tons. Uh, it does eight structure damage and 78 total damage. Two damage dealt directly to internals. Okay, so it's 10 structure damage. Uh, heat changed change based on your evasion. Okay, so the further you go, the more heat it does. Damage increased based on your evasion. And therefore, the more damage you do, I probably will take it. Let's see what else is here. Blood sports, a melee gyro, a lower melee punch. Actually, sod the heads up. Let's get some other cool stuff. Supercharger, upper spiked. Mm, no. And... I mean, there isn't much else to take. It is tempting to take the Hunchback part because we can potentially put it together mixing it with other stuff. Uh, oh, it comes with a 250 engine core. And it is... Oh, it's a completely different um, hunchback because the engine can't be replaced. And therefore, you've also got a uh, tuned engine minus five heat generated, which is not normally on the other ones. Anyway, I think I'll take a Hetza part so that we can start putting together a Hetza. Yeah, I'm not too worried about everything else. I mean, I wouldn't mind... Ooh, Actually, no, Ballistic Fire Control System. So that, we're going to go with that, because that is useful as well. May not be used much. Possibly could be. Okay, we get the Hunchback, we get the Clint parts, Toro, Ravager, AC-20, which isn't too bad, actually. Uh, medium Heavy Laser Pirates, which are not the same as what we've got. And a slightly heavier. Yeah, three tons instead of one ton. Okay. Uh, compact heat sink. Yeah, I'll sell it. Melee gyro, single heat sink, basic sensor, standard fusion core, supercharger I'll keep, TSM I'll keep, and the ammo for the thumper I will keep as well. So not too bad overall. Yes, it was a challenge. But I didn't really get anything amazing out of it. Yes, I could have got a hexer out of it. And in, fair, in fairness, that would have given me a massive power spike because it does so much damage just because it's an error effects thing. But I didn't want it. I didn't want to take it. I wanted to take the equipment because I can use some of that later on. And some of that is very rare. The melee gyro, you don't get many of those. And the lower arm melee is pretty rare as well. That obviously come off of the... Oh, it wasn't the Toro, it was something else. 140,000 Z-bills. So we actually 
only just made some money in that. And how long is it going to take everything to be repaired? 10 days for Chompy, 5 days for the Urban Knights. Okay, so we got a little time to wait and we have to rebuild Chompy. So we might be back down to 6 things, 6, six mechs. But what we can do for sure is an upgrade. I'm thinking that's tech points, that's not tech points. And what is that giving us? Just reduce the Argo upgrades. That gives us two tech points, but it is a little bit too expensive. And all of these, none of these actually give us tech points anymore. They give us morale and uh, medical points, and that is it. Oh, there's a rare one. Two plus two tech points. I will take that one. That is a good that, one. I'll get the crew moving. Awesome. Can't afford the next financial report, but don't worry. We've got a little bit of time before then. And... Only the FB... ...is... ...ready. Don't think there's anything we can really do with you. Sensor tracker, rangefinder, fire control system improved. Let's see if we can mod those in any way. I mean, we do have the advanced target computer. Minus 20 jam chance it isn't a bad thing to have. How much ammo does one bin give us? 30 shots. Active probe, ECM, one double heatsink is needed. Uh, thermal mass is not really needed. What can we put up there? AMS flare, Bolton rocket, tandem Bolton rockets. Actually, could work. Let me just check something. Seven ton. I need seven ton carry capacity. I don't have that. I've got five ton. Yes. The only other, yeah. So going back here. Pilots in A and B, not really needed in here. Fire control ballistic would be good. But I think I'd rather take the minus three jam chance. Or do I? No, I'm going to go with uh, making the rotary as accurate as possible. Or we could just go fire uh, predator fire control system. Because that is plus two everywhere except medium where it's plus one. And night vision, which it kind of already has. No, it doesn't. So, Predator Fire Control is better. That gives the medium lasers, the pirate ones, um, just as much accuracy as well. And Sensor Trackers, Sensor Snipers? So, it's more sensor and sights. No, the this is more accuracy, extreme long range, minus two at short range. Star League Staff. Just more sensors and sight range, but not as good as the sniper stuff. Okay, so I think I think we're making it a little bit better. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. And right. to, to, to do well, let's just skip forward the ten days. Where are we up to? Oh yeah, I need to put you forwards. Yeah, we're not getting any, any more work done on the enchilada at the moment, but so be it. Um, okay, good deeds. Even before you arrive in the morning briefing, you can hear Dr. Murad praising Scepter, saying how valuable their support has been to the engineering team. Yang chimes in, yeah, and then he showed up in the mech bay. It only took a few minutes for Scepter to figure out what was wrong with one of my witches. 
Samir smiles. Well, send Scepter to the bridge, Chief. I could use the help. Finally, Darius notices you standing in the doorway and explains, Commander, we have to do something special for Scepter. He's the most helpful member on the ship. I'm thinking we're going to throw him a party. Morale has increased by five. Awesome. Sweets. And did I click the button? I did click the button. So, Lamia is almost back from her fatal injuries. And... Ah, oh, we're not going to get the enchilada until after the next financial report. But so be it. I think it's like Echnada or something like that. But we're not going to go into the name because it is now forever known as the enchilada. Yeah, that one... If I can get all my mechs and the griffin up and running, wouldn't be too bad. But I'm thinking we're going to have to go down to a one and a half skull mission because we're, we're down mechs. Oh my god. No, nice I nearly forgot. Down here in the hole. You're still needing to be refit. So we're not doing enough mission just yet because we lost the proto double heatsink. That's good that we've got seven of them. Might stick that in the heads. And we'll stick that one there. Yeah, just to save them a little bit. Do we even need the proto double heat so you can get on here anymore? Because we, in fact. Can we just double heat sink? Yes. Yes. Also, do we even need that? Because we're not using it. LK is better for us. Uh, we need to get rid of those then. And put in two double heat sinks. They have to go in the side torso because of size. And... Right, we need another SRM6. Pretty sure I have a spare one. We could go for Valiant. One less damage per missile, but two times crit chance. Um, it's not going to cost us that much to swap it all around. It's going to take us days. Yeah, it's taken us too many days, I would say. So, we're going to go with... Actually, it's costing us the same amount of days. So, it's fine. Next up, we've got two tons spare. And what weapon systems have we got left? I've got. A f well, we had, could put a flamer back on here. Could. I have a flamer. I don't have a flamer hot shots. Then that kind of annoys me. So, do we go with. That's way too heavy, but. Almost. That's also way too heavy. I'm thinking ER Magnus. 30 damage, 18 heat. We're still under our heat. Yep, yeah, we are. And I'm thinking... We've got support weapons that can go on here, like... <laughs> a mine dispenser. Oh, is that why... One and a half tons. No. No, 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 no. Okay, that kind of sucks, actually. Fluid guns. No. Let's put another tag in. Because they're useful. If everyone tags everyone, everyone gets benefits. Uh, it's not much of a punching mech anymore. Well, actually, it still can be a punching mech because it's got the chomper. And the only thing we can do to make it... Gives an extra ton to play with. Therefore, one of the extra support weapons can have something in. Which would be an AMS, laser AMS, one and a half tons. Or we could, no, I don't think so. We'd have to drop some armor to put the ammo in. It 
How much do these weigh? They're still the same as a normal SRM6. We could then potentially just put the Inferno stuff back in, but we don't really need it. So I'm thinking we don't really need that, and we are good to go. So it's nine days, 12,000, and it's just a refit more than anything else. The flamers weren't really needed anyway. They were, weren't doing enough. Uh, repair all. Yeah, okay. So be it. Well, you're just under weight. Do you have... Let me just check. Ferro Endo Steel. I can't put the light engine in here because it needs too much. I have no cockpits upgrade for you. Com suites. And then pilot an A and B on this guy. Actually, sod it. We're gonna go with pilots an A and B. It already had uh, tactics B. I will keep Tactics B in there, actually. And then Sensors. We now have Sensors. So, have Sensor Sniper. Identifies Friend or Foe Jammer. Uh, low tier ECM granting one ECM shield. I don't know if it will go in because it will go in. Because we haven't actually got a ECM in here. Oh, we do have. We have Guardian. Um, yeah, Guardian. The only thing is the SLDF. No, I think Sensor Sniper is better. Two days there, that's not a problem. XL Gyro. We do have other gyros available now. Defensive Gyro. is going to make us heavy again. And... I got rid of the light engines? Ooh. Nine additional slots needed. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're not putting that in there. And yeah, that's where we put the XL gyro back in. Cool. Right. I think that's good. That'll do. And let's say that that is going to be it for today because... I don't think there's much time to have another mission in this video. Uh, but one quick check. Is there anything to build? No. It was a bulldog. So, sadly the tank disappeared off the loot table and we didn't get it. But, it is where it is. We are getting a few Clint parts. Kind of would love to get a Clint Eastwards. And get ourselves a Rotary AC-20. But anyway, that'll all be in the next video, hopefully, and we shall see what we get in the next video. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, remember that like button, hit that subscribe button. I shall see you next time for some more mech destruction.